Last Loudoun County families get their voices heard just a day after a grand jury indicted the school district's former superintendent and a spokesperson. Both face charges over how LCPS handled a pair of sexual assault investigations. Tonight was the school board's first meeting since we learned of these charges. Our Katie Lesso has been covering this meeting for hours now. She joins us live to fill us in. What are parents saying, Katie? Yeah, well, that meeting wrapped up in the last 15 minutes and more than 70 people were signed up to speak and speak they did. I'm curious, guys, are you still pleased? One by one, dozens of parents. You have wasted enough of our time. It is time to clean house. And even a student. I thoroughly discussed it with all of you. Stood before the Loudoun County School Board Tuesday night and spoke their mind. The damage done by this board in trying to fly and obfuscate your actions at the expense of our children. It was Dr. David Smith's first school board meeting in his new role as interim superintendent after Scott Ziegler was fired last week. I'm glad that Ziegler got fired, but it's not enough. And plus he was given... Um, a $300,000 golden parachute, and it's ridiculous. He was also indicted on criminal charges Monday, as was the school system spokesperson, Wade Baird. They both made their first court appearances Tuesday. Ziegler stayed quiet, but Baird said this. At this point, I can't address any specific charges because neither my attorney nor myself have been given any indication of what I've been alleged to do. I uh, plan on pleading not guilty. That was just hours before the board meeting, which began with the LCPS attorney addressing the eight recommendations made in a grand jury report. Things like improving transparency and communication with parents and students. There's no trust. Parents have been yelling from the hilltops about all the corruption, all the things that have been going on in our schools for the last two years. Ziegler isn't enough. Some of the parents say the entire board who was in place should resign. Whatever comes next, they told as they will be right there keeping a close watch. Parents have spoken, and from this point on, the parents' voice is going to be the loudest voice. Are you and I want to circle back to that word trust. Now, the parents I spoke with tonight, every single one of them told me that this was a good start. What has unfolded is a good start, but they say there is a long ways to go before trust is restored here in Loudoun County, and they will be watching every step of the way, as you heard her say. In Loudoun County, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.